Hey guys, Wasp Freak here with another gas mask review, this time looking at both of my MSA all-service mining gas masks. Just recently got parts in for my Model S, so now both of them are complete. Now, the first one we're going to look at is my Model S. I got this one first, and I originally got this one in an incomplete state. It was missing the timer and... Uh, assembly that screws onto the end of the filter, but I was able to get it in thanks to a friend. Now opening up the box. You have the instruction card on the inside with all the information, parts list and everything like that. And then inside is the mask itself. It's pretty much the same as a regular all service with the exception of the voice diaphragm here. It's got the exact same hose assembly, same timer assembly, and the filter box is pretty much identical. The only difference being that it is a Model S canister instead of just a regular all service canister. And there's some labels right here. So when I originally got this mask, it was missing this bottom portion right here. Actually, I got the original hose right here. The clamp is missing. But now my all service is finally complete. This is a little timer on here. That's supposed to show how much uh, life is left in the filter. It's set for four hours. I don't really know how to reset it. I guess you just have to breathe in the thing. But just extremely extremely happy I was able to get that part completed. Then here's the box uh, approved by the Bureau of Mines. I guess they're not in uh, existence anymore. I actually called the MSA up to try and find more information about this mask. Um, this is my regular This one is uh, just your regular all service. It uh, doesn't have the voice diaphragm as featured on the Model S. And the funny thing is that this is actually a newer mask. I believe this one is uh, was manufactured in 1965, and the other one is manufactured dated 1958. So you can see. Here's the instruction card on the pictures. It just shows the standard all service, no voice diaphragm. And then this is the standard all service. It has no voice diaphragm, but it has a nice manufacturing stamp right there on the front. It's got the same flapper valve arrangement with the guard, hose, and timer assembly. And then this is the filter, it's pretty much the same, except it just says MSA All Service instead of Model S. And the filter just straps right onto your chest. It's actually a pretty heavy filter, I'd say it's maybe about 5 pounds. So it's quite a lot of weight on your chest. So I'll go this. I just love these two masks, just the history behind them. Uh, used in mining, lovely helping to fuel America and stuff like that. The funny thing is a lot of it seems like a lot of coal miners and etc don't use uh, gas masks anymore. It's more like dust masks. Maybe it's because of the cost. Well, the All Service series was actually introduced around 1921 which as indicated by the patents on stamped on the masks themselves. And uh, this type of All Service was actually I've seen advertisements from the late 1930s for this one and then this one there's a few out there I think from the 1940s and I assume these masks were used until maybe the 1970s as this one is dated as a 1965 but I'm not entirely sure there's not a lot out there on these masks but I'd love to know more possible I mean, if I could visit a mining museum or something like that that would be super
So I just wanted to make a quick little video just uh, showing my fixed all services. So I hope you guys like it. Please make sure to comment and subscribe if you get the chance.